So your first port of call will be support.ptc.com where you can access all the information and all the details you'll need for your account. Now, as I mentioned earlier on, there's also a floating license option that some of you may have purchased. Now, a floating license can work in a very similar way to a lot license if you've just got it on a local machine. In fact, the, the workflow is essentially the same. All that happens is you drag the license in as you did do with the lot license and it will install a license server essentially on your machine. However, there might be a situation where you have a team and you have several users that might want to access Creo at any particular time. So for example, you have a team of five and you might have three Creo licenses that can be accessed by any three of them at any stage. So generally what you'll do is put this on a central server on your work network where all users can basically access licenses from their local workstation. Now this server might be located in your work office or it might be a virtual machine or even a cloud-based server. Okay, that's something that you can discuss with the cells if needs be and certainly with your IT team. What happens is you put a piece of software called FlexNet License Manager onto the server. This License Manager basically handles the licenses and allows access to the licenses on and off for any members of your team. So let's look at the process of installing this license manager software and then how you would set up your users to be able to see the server and access those licenses. Okay, so back to ptc.com support and over to the download software tab here again and open up the next page. Now as we saw earlier on, this is where you download your Creo software or any other PTC software you've purchased. And we're going to go down to the fourth line here, this fourth plus, and we're going to select additional downloadable software updates and to the second one down here, the PTC license server FlexNet Publisher. This opens up this next page. Hardware notes in particular, so you can see that essentially you've got some information regarding your version of Creo or Illustrate or Creo View or whatever. And at the top you've got this PDF document which is the links to download the PTC license server here. So if I click on this, it opens up this next page and you can see most recently updated on January 11th, 2022. We've got links to the FlexNet Publisher software itself, a platform to support table just to check that the, the server is going to work on your operating system that you've currently got. Okay, so we'll pop down a bit further down on the screen and you can see the most recent one which will work with essentially all of the versions of Creo that you might need is LM Admin 11.17.1.0. You can see they're supported on Windows Server 2019, Windows Server 2016 and Windows 10 64 bit. Okay, so you just need to check that again, that's going to work with your operating system that you have locally. And then you just go to the installer download link here and then store that onto the machine you wish to have the server running from. Okay. Now as before with the Creo software, the FlexNet software comes in in the zip file. So again, right click, use the 7-zip extractor and extract here. And then into this folder here, and yet again, set up .exe and run as administrator. Okay, so it's a really similar process. We go to install the license server, go to next, again accept and select the checkbox underneath, press next again, and again it's asking for the license file to be added at this point. Okay, so you drag the license file in or select the folder icon and go to your Creo 8 license. So bring the license in, you'll see it will grey out and under the status you'll get a message saying they're installing the license server. It just takes a few moments and ultimately it'll be shown as available and you can simply press finish at the end. So with that installed, with the license server installed on your server, 
wherever that is in your business. When you install Creo on your users workstations now, the installation process is exactly the same as we saw with the locked license. But at this point where you've got the license source, what you type in is 7788, which is the name of the port that's used by Creo installation at, and then the name of the server. Okay, so it might be server one, two, three, or whatever it might be. Okay, I'm gonna put that in here. What you'll see, it will show as available. And you can just go through the standard process of installing your Creo.